Hi, Rafael. Hi, Susana. How are you doing, guys? Hi. How Hi. are you? I'm doing great, I guess. What about you? How are you doing? I'm fine. Thank you. Cool. That's really nice to hear. Well, we are getting to the belly bottom of the week. So I'm like, oh, it's Wednesday. Tomorrow <laughs> is my last day of work. So I love it. <laughs> so I guess it's kind of positive. Uh -huh. What about you? Um, I was a good day. Oh, I, okay. I worked lately, but I'm ready for the class. Ah, oh, okay. That was very nice. That's really good to hear. What time did you finish working? 7.30. 7 oh, like some minutes ago. Yes. Oh, but are you doing home office or do you live close to your work? No, no, no. Uh, I work in Colón Escalón. Oh, And okay. I live in Nuevo, Nuevo Cuscatlán. No, but it's far away. <laughs> so it is not that close. Okay. <laughs> and there is a lot of traffic in Nuevo Cuscatlán. So uh, yes, but, that is the bad side of it. But today uh, didn't 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 there was not much traffic? Yes. Oh, but... okay. Okay. Cool. Eh? So we are super close. I live in Besucar. So I live like in the border between Nuevo. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so it's very close. Hi, Irving. Good evening. Asusana, great to see you guys. How are you doing? Hi, teacher. Hi. How are you? I'm great. What about yourself? How are you doing? Um, I'm just fine. And uh, okay. teacher, uh, I couldn't... Uh, um, so, sorry. I turned off my camera because uh, the the battery of my cell phone is low oh. and I'm charging. Okay, the, no, the no worries. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know that. But it's amazing to have you here. So thanks a lot for that. Thank you. Irving, how was your day? Did you have a good one? Yeah, a really good day, to be honest. Oh, really? Good news? Did something good happen to you? Nothing, but uh, you, have, <laughs> you always have the opportunity to learn new things. Ah, okay, okay, cool, cool. I'm glad to hear that. All right. I see Yolanda is joining, Claudia is joining as well. So good evening, girls. Great to have you. And thanks a lot for joining. How are you doing? I'm like, fine, thank you. <laughs> great, great. Thank you guys uh, for joining. And uh, uh, I guess somebody left. Okay, so it's just nice to see you. And uh, I'm so happy to see you uh, because we are going to be like checking on a topic today that I consider one of the most interesting uh, topics we can discuss because it is about likes. Yeah, let's say likes. Um, so it is related to movies, cinema, series, and all those things. We have been discussing this, like, but just on the surface. So today we're going to talk a little bit about that. Um, guys, do you remember the last movie you saw? Yes, Batman. Yes. <laughs> no, did you see Batman already? Yes. Oh, uh, don't spoil it for us, please. <laughs> okay, just tell us: is it good? Is it worth it or not? Uh, it's regular. Oh, that's bad. I, <laughs> okay, yeah, to get us started, that's bad. Eight, eight note. I eight. saw Batman also. Oh, uh, yes. what, what is the score that you give Batman? So eight out of ten. What about you guys? What is the score? How do you score it? From one to ten. I think that depends uh, when you expect it to, to watch it. Mm -hmm. uh, Did you because, have high expectations? Uh, all, all the time, Batman is action. And okay. this movie is, mm, is a little, a little oh, bit action. Okay. And maybe for that, Rafael said it's a little. Eight so, out of 10. Yeah. Maybe. Oh, what is do okay. you give it? I, I didn't like the actor. 
Who was the actor? <laughs> uh, it's the toy like actor also. Ah, yes. Like uh, Robert Pattinson. Pattinson, that's right. Yeah. 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 I prefer a muscular guy for that role. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, but so, for this, for the picture, a uh, a uh, sorry for this movie, uh, uh, he got muscle. Yes, oh. get a, a little, but it's different that when you say when you saw in uh, when you watching in in Twilight, it's different. Oh, okay, okay. Well, I have not seen not even the trailers to be honest. I haven't seen pictures. So I think it's going to be really cool. Uh, I was thinking about watching it, but then I listened uh, to Rafael. So I'm like, mm, maybe not. <laughs> maybe it's not worth it, my time. <laughs> OK, so we're going to be talking about these guys. Uh, so Cody, good evening. Great to have you. Adrian, good evening. Dagoberto, I'm glad to see you here. Good evening. Francisco, how you doing? Good evening. Mauricio, thank you. Sophie, great to see you guys. Good Thanks evening. a lot for joining. Okay, um, I have here like like a sort of collage, right? And uh, so tell me about these guys. Which movies do you recognize that you have seen? Not just the picture, but that you have actually seen the movie. Or do you have any favorite one from this uh, collage? Only Matrix for me. Oh, okay. They are really old there. The um, Lord of the Rings. For the me. Okay. Yeah, they get old. That's right. Any the other? Lord of the Rings and uh, Spider Man. Raids okay. of Caribbean. Oh, okay. And the King Arthur. And uh, Alien. Okay. <laughs> have, you, have you seen all these movies? Have you seen a couple of them? Most of them. Most yes. of them. Oh, okay. Very nice. I have seen only the Matrix and also the Spider-Man, but I remember the last one movie that I uh, uh, saw at the cinema okay. was a Patrol. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <At the> <laughs> yeah, so, so yeah. we go okay. <laughs> from Spider-Man and Matrix yeah. to Paw Patrol. <laughs> Okay. Yes. I guess because you have, you got kids. I guess. Yes. Okay. Yes. That's why. Uh huh. Yeah. Otherwise, but it was I, funny. I like it. Oh, okay. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Because we no no right. But there are some like um animated movies that we normally watch even if we don't have kids. I yes. remember, for example, with um Dragon Ball and <laughs> Indiana Jones. So I was so, super excited to go and watch a uh, Dragon Ball or Tarzan. I really love Tarzan. So do you remember the movie or the series? Did you see the series when you were younger? Maybe you were five <laughs> or what? 10. I remember, you remember Tarzan. Yes, I remember. Ooh, yes. That was my favorite program, you know, and uh, even my mom cut my hair like super short, like um, neck length, because I, I asked my mom, hey, I want to look like Tarzan. I love his hair, you know, but yeah, that was about <laughs> Teacher, la last week, I remember I, I saw that movie, but on Netflix, but uh, it, it was a uh, uh, different uh, version. Uh, oh. because it, it was uh, like a cartoons but nor not a completely cartoons um i mean it was a cartoon but a digital cartoon i don't know how to say that uh -huh, i'm not sure uh -huh, i've like, seen it uh -huh, but, but it was not people uh, yes it was new people uh, it was people. even though uh, a new story a, a oh. new drama. But wasn't uh -huh. it Moggy? Moggy or something like that? Moggling? I'm not sure. The uh, Boy of no. the Jungle? No. No. Mm -hmm. No. It, okay. it was Tarzan. Uh -huh. You have to look for that one. Because I think there is another that is like Mowgli, Mowgli Mo or something. Mo Mo Mowgli. Yeah, right. Something with, like that. With, with, with Bar Baloo and Bagheera. And oh, Bagheera. hey, you remember that? Wow. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, I remember my my nephew was watching that, so, but it's super similar to Tarzan. And, but... and George, George of the Jungle, don't, don't you watch it? Yes, I watched this movie. 
Yes, I like it. it. <laughs> with a with a fan. It's like a it's like Tarzan. I need to watch them again. <laughs> the main actor, with the main actor of the the mommy. Oh. Okay. Um, Did you see the you had a Brendan? No, wait. Brendan something. I'm yeah, terrible exactly. with names. Brendan something, I think, was his name. I gotta look for that. <laughs> okay, but super nice, guys. So definitely from today, I'm Bre going to Brendan get faces. a checklist. Yes, that, that's the, the guy. He's a very good actor, by the way. So let's yeah. talk a little bit about genres, guys. Um, when we are talking about movies, we call them genre, right? So this is the word mm -hmm. for the different categories that we have in movies. Can you tell me yeah. some of your favorite? What is your favorite movie genre? Uh, comedy, romantic okay. comedies. Comedy, romantic comedy. Okay. So comedy and romance Drama. I'm gonna have here. Uh, romance. 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 Drama. No, oh. Drama. Thriller. Thrill oh, oh, okay. Really Thrillers. Cool. War. Uh, like historical or in any type of movie in which there are weapons and they kill each other. Right. Okay. <laughs> so let's include war and historical because normally they also include like some history. Ep epics. Ep oh, I'm going to include it here okay. as well. Mm -hmm. They are a little bit similar. Any other genre? Music. Music. Oh, musicals. Do you like musicals? Have you, uh, what is, can you name a couple of musicals? The Miss, Miss, Miserables, I don't know how to say ah, it. Ah, Miss Miserables. Mm -hmm. Chicago. Chicago. Oh, oh. Into the Wood. Um, I, I just remember High School Musical. Yeah, <laughs> me too. Gus, Gus of Soap Opera, Soap Opera, oh. Gus, eh, El Fantasma de la Opera. Ah. I don't Just remember the, the name in English. I think it's the opera. The Phantom of Phantom. the Opera. The fa that one, the Phantom of the Opera. Yes. The Phantom of so, the Opera. Mm -hmm. yeah. oh, I have never seen that movie now. The Sound of Music. Now. Of music. Okay, cool. You have very nice ones. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to include horror here because uh, so thriller, we have horror too. Hi, Enrique. Good evening. Uh, any other genre that we're missing? Basically, true history. Mm -hmm. Like true stories, I'm going to include it here in thriller. So, yeah, uh, true stories. Do we have another one? We are missing animated movies, right? So, animated are animated. Yes, all of the um, all the ones that um, are kind of cartoonish, right? So there are not real people, but everything is animation. Oh, what about Harry Potter, The Lord of the Rings, Star Trek, Star Wars? What is the category for that? Sci-fi, I think. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So that is called sci-fi or science fiction, right? Yes, wow. yes. And I'm going to include here a little bit of fantasy too. It is not the same because normally sci-fi um, has a lot of a futuristic ideas, right? And a lot of effects. Yeah. And fantasy is something that will never happen, but I'm gonna put them together because what we are going to do is the following, guys. Mystery yeah. is missing. Which one? How do you Mystery. say infantiles? Mystery. Uh, we don't have infantiles. a category because we watch them too, <laughs> but or we fantasy. call them animated. Uh -huh. so, Animated uh -huh. movies yeah. are all the movies in which they look like cartoons. Uh, so, Paw Patrol, Toy Story. Can you tell me more? Yes. I haven't seen movies in a long time. Story, Shrek. Ah, yes, and yes. The... Anastasia, Disney things. So, yes, they are Point animated. Well. Mm -hmm. They are considered yeah. animated. Infan infantiles. There infantiles. is no, there is no such is category. category. No, it there is, is not a category. Animated. But we call them animated, this one. Mm -hmm. uh, independent movies. It's missing drama, oh, teacher. Oh, foreign movies. Uh -huh. We teacher, call them... The West. Oh, West, you're right. West. So they are West, West. movies as Western. well. 
Mm -hmm. They are Western. Western. Oh, but we, we have here water historical epics, so we're gonna put them in the same category as well. Uh, we have these ones, like foreign movies, movies that uh, are independent from other countries. Um, mm -hmm. But I, I, I don't know, are you fan? Yeah, Bollywood classic, movies? Classic movies. Oh, uh, okay. Classic, uh, for example? For example, a silent movie by... Um, Mm. Uh, I don't remember. For example, in no color, uh, black and white, is is the silent movie? All uh, this. Oh, silence. All the novels. All the okay, so silence. Um, uh, there is a special name for that, like Charles Chaplin. Charles Chaplin. Um, yes. But yes. there is another. I don't remember if it is. Nosferatu. Smashing. Mm, let me look, let me look because the name is very specific and it refers to this, to like a, a smacking. Give me one sec, let me look for the category because I, I don't remember if it is silence. <clears throat> I think there is another name for that. Como digo, el dictador. The dictator? Exactly. Charles Chaplin. Oh, oh. <laughs> for, a, for a second, I my mind went to the dictator the guy with curly hair <laughs> that is like a comedy or i don't know like um like uh like a sub yeah. like yeah like a comedy <laughs> okay volleyball movies yeah they belong into these uh foreign movies as well so any that is not American, normally they call them foreign movies. Guys, what we are going to do right now is the following. We are going to try to put a different vocabulary, okay, into the genre. So there are some words, for mm -hmm. example, in comedy, uh, romance and drama, there are not too many mm -hmm. words that we can, that we don't know, right? But for example, when it comes to war, when it comes to horror, and when it comes to fantasy, um, there are a lot of words um, that are very specific and we don't know how to say that. For example, when that we're talking about horror, so how would you say pesadillas, for example? How do you say, if we are talking about sci-fi, how do you call <clears throat> the different <throat> monsters that appear there? Or like what, what things can you see, for example, in the, that specific uh, kind of movie? If we are talking about, I'm going to eliminate comedy, romance, and drama because that is a little bit easier. And if we are talking about epic movies, war movies, or historical movies, what is something that you always see in those kind of movies? So how do you say armas, for example? How would you say revolvers, polvoren, all those things, okay? So we are going to try to put together as much vocabulary as possible. And then, so we can discuss these movies a little bit. Um, guys, we are going to discuss only these three right now. So I'm going to give you five minutes. I'm going to ask you guys to put like here to try to identify or try to remember what is something that you always mm -hmm. see in these kind of movies. For example, in what historical and epic movies, what is something you always see? Black Hawk Down. Guns. Mm -hmm. Guns Black and... Hawk Down. Okay, yeah. There are more things. What else do you see? So try to remember the movies you have seen related to war, related yeah. to history or epic things and battles, yeah. right? So what do you see? In epic stories, there are always a, a, a hero. Aha, uh -huh, there is a hero. And how do you call the opposite of a hero, for example? A uh, billion. Billion. So we have billion. heroes, we have billions. Okay. What else do we have in war movies or in everything that is related to battles, you know? If we are talking about horror, what is something that you always see in horror? We are going to do this together, okay? Uh, so we can try to remember as much as possible. I'm going to send you guys to... a these small groups. I'm gonna give you only five minutes to try to come up with as many words as you can, and then we share everything and we start talking about it. So go guys, five minutes only. The three of them, war, horror, and sci-fi or fantasy. 
So let's go. Let's go. You can check your dictionary. You can check your Google. You're good. You're good with that. We're talking about what? Well, about historical and epic. Okay. Historical. I like the clothes in historical movies. The clothes, the dress, for example, in Cleopatra. You see Cleopatra with Elizabeth Taylor. No, I haven't seen. Is it good a movie? It's a classic yeah, movie. I like. Yes, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful woman. Ah, ya murió. He's dead. He's <laughs> dead. No, no, no. Elizabeth. Yeah. So we have I, guns. We have heroes. No. Heroes. That's my, okay. that's my opinion. People hurt water, people getting scared. Right. Uh -huh. In my case, when I saw, I went, when I watch historical movies, I remember this, the city, the, the, the buildings, and the dress of the woman, I think. Okay, somebody else. War, horror, sci-fi. Mm, uh, I will say epic. Um, epic, it's normally something that, for example, when there are some wars and the good uh, won against the devil, uh, there are uh, many things that they don't exist, but they are kind of you know, exciting to see. Like, for example, uh, the Lord of the Rings, when there are a huge um, elephants, that is the third one. Uh, maybe they are like a building the size. So it's kind of, it's kind of crazy, but it's very um, entertaining. That's uh, something, something that I can say about it. Yeah, the, the Lord of Rings is uh, a lot of sci-fi. There is no a lot of sci-fi. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're right, you're right. It's really exciting, and the history is uh, very catching. Yes, yes, it is. War historical. Um, for example, uh, one of the movie that I. That I liked the most it was uh, La Colonia or The Colony. Um, this movie is about um, uh, Chilean, the Chilean Civil War and it's very exciting because uh, you can get some information about the, the Chilean 
uh, history, the President Salvador Allende and many other things. It's very exciting because you can get more information about countries and talk about it, make a discussion about it. I have never seen hear about that movie. Uh, yeah, it's Chile. His, Chile's yeah. history. It's Civil War. Civil War. Uh, it was uh, Salvador Allende was the president, but what the, is movie, the, name of the movie? The Colony or La Colonia. The Colony. The main characters are um, uh, Emma Watson and. Who is this guy? I forgot the guy's name, but this guy is he's very famous. He's <laughs> German, I think, Spanish and German, he knows how to speak different languages. He speaks uh, even uh, Spanish better than German, and he's German, I think. It's, okay. it's pretty cool. <laughs> In this line, I watch uh, the night of the pens. It's about the uh, Chilean history uh, in in the context of the uh, young people or young 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 people uh, uh, against uh, with the I don't know uh, the price of the of the bus for them uh, uh yes but for me the most uh i am uh, no okay uh, it, it was very uh i don't know uh, a great a uh, hit uh, uh, uh in the the story because uh, the young people uh, is uh, i don't know is zombie for me, it's not many, I share with zombies. Song or story. When a zombie is based on is based on zombies. Vampires. The love with the zombies can kill you or I don't know. Is um, do you feel fear when you watch? Movies, zombies. Uh, well, I hate that that whole story. I <laughs> I don't know. Monster city, monster city. Monster city. Uh, Monsters. It's I like a monster, yeah. Bad. Demons. 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 Ah, uh, freak. Okay, demons. Oh, demons or uh, demons? Phantoms. On, on the devil <laughs> devil yes. it's like a spirit that that ogre Sylvia ogre uh -huh. uh, what ogre oh sorry I put in the chat okay ogre ogre Shrek. Yeah. like Shrek you know? <laughs> yeah. like Shrek Actually, yeah, like Shrek, so he's another. Uh -huh. how, how I say Bruja? A witch. 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 Or, or the pens, that can be a sorcerer too. So a witch or a sorcerer. But sorcerer mm -hmm. is an old word. So mm -hmm. I have been watching, for example, Merlin. Have you seen Merlin? Exactly, yeah. yes. I have been watching Merlin a lot. So they they don't call them witch, they call them sorcerers. Uh -huh. oh. So it's like women yes. with powers. Uh -huh. yeah. oh, okay. You say mother in law. <laughs> mother in law oh. is good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you are so mean. Yes. Sorcery <laughs> uh, is like brujeria. Uh -huh. So the woman also, you call the woman a sorcerer or an enchantress of movies. I, I learned it from, from Merlin. The, <laughs> so I was, have you, normally guys, do you watch uh, movies in English? You remember. Yeah. Well, with the magician. With something in Spanish. In Spanish. That's a yeah. But it's about war, historical. Yeah. 
Wizard. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we call it a wizard. Okay. But yeah, like Harry Potter. So, so he's so a, ma a wizard. Magos. Yes. Like people Magicians. with powers, right? Magicians. Yes. Yeah. Magicians. So he's a wizard. Yes. Like people with powers, right? Magicians. 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 Innate power that they are born with abilities. And magician is more like you do tricks, I would say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, you do some tricks. Yeah, but it's, it's do you believe in magicians or do you believe in, in people with powers? Just when I'm watching Harry Potter. Mm -hmm. Because I remember I was super stuck watching. Chris Angel, have you ever seen Chris Angel? Chris Angel, yes, yes. I have seen it. So much. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know if that guy was a wizard, a magician, but I was super, you know, stuck into watching uh, him do tricks. Teacher. Mm -hmm. teacher. Yes. Uh, in fact, in fact, the the brain may be engañado. 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 What do you say? Oh, what do you want to say? Like, ¿quién está engañado? The, the brain may be... Oh, deceived. Deceived. I write it in the chat. Deceived. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The brain can be deceived. deceived. Uh, the, mm -hmm. the brain can be deceived uh, uh, easily. Mm -hmm. I, I think your eyes can be deceived mm -hmm. easily. Exactly. Mm -hmm. the, ma the magician uh, use, uh, uh, you, you use this um, field uh, of the brain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's mm. amazing. I love those movies. Of there is a movie that is called The Illu Illusion. Wait, Illusion. The Illusionist. Yeah, the right. The Illusionist. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. That movie is very mm. good. Yeah, but the first, the second was not very good. <laughs> or, or or did you like this? Did you see the second? No, no. I like two, but it uh, there is a. Uh, Siri también. Ah, uh, tú. Oh, <laughs> there are two. Oh, very nice. Uh, is it open? Do you know if I can find it in Facebook? Uh, I mean, in, in Netflix. Or, yeah, in Facebook or somewhere. In Netflix. Oh. And what is it name? What is it called? The Illusionist. The Illusionist, the same. Yeah. I'm going to look for that tonight. I'm not going to sleep tonight. <laughs> so watching The Illusionist. <laughs> yeah, but the movie is really good. Guys, we are going to go back because of the time. Cool to talk to you. Super nice. Thank you guys. So thanks for coming back. Hi, Vero. How you doing? Hi. How are you? I'm great. Thank you for joining, Vero. Great to see you today. Um, so we have been like talking about movies a little bit and some vocabulary that is necessary in order to talk about movies. I have here just a couple of words. And, the, and of course, I would appreciate your help like um, filling out with a, a lot of, or brainstorming different vocabulary that you can think of. Um, some of the words I have selected I, are, for example, genre, uh, that is the style of movie, uh, TV show, painting. So we norm normally call them genre, that is the word, or category or genre. Uh, we have a sequel, right? That in a movie is like the first movie, the second, the third, the fourth, etc. So that is called a sequel. Can you tell me some movies that have sequel? Oh, but that you have liked them, of course. Godfather. The Godfather, Fast and Furious, any Hunger other? Hunger Games. Ah, the Hunger Games, okay. Terminator. Terminator. Mm -hmm. Matrix. Oh, yes. No, the other one uh, with the same actor. That is super cool. Wait. Oh my God, John Wick. Wick. Yes, Wick, yes. yes. I'm yes. Guiding the park I mean, number four. Uh -huh. Star Wars. Oh, it's, oh, it's Star Wars. That's right. Okay, there are like yeah, a lot no, of movies. Back. Not the future. Which one? Uh, go back to the future. Oh, oh back to the future. Mm -hmm. Back to the future. How many movies are there? Uh, three. Are there 
Three. Oh, okay. So yeah. there are a couple. Okay. Yeah. So normally mm -hmm. we call them sequel, right? Um, mm -hmm. So the other word we have here is plot. Very interesting word because we don't use them in every scenario. The plot is the story. Okay. When we are talking about the movie and what the movie is about, that is the plot. So look at this example, uh, the series of events that make or that form the main story. So it was a good uh, film, it was a good movie, but the plot was difficult. So like the plot, the idea, the story, that is called a plot, okay, in a movie. The for other example, word we have, um, for example, imagine that we are talking about Titanic. So what is the plot of Titanic? Oh, that there is this uh, poor boy that meets the rich girl. They fall in love in a couple of days and uh, a lot of things happen to them and the boy died. <laughs> so the plot is like the story itself. Uh -huh. So what is sure, the and what thing? about the, the synopsis or, or the description that you see <laughs> when, when you go? Uh, the review, normally the review is like the, the short way but uh -huh. the plot wouldn't be a review because a review has your opinion of the movie too. And the plot um, is just the, just the events. Uh -huh. So the uh -huh. most important uh -huh. thing. The real events. Uh -huh. Without any opinion. Uh -huh. So uh, okay. normally when you go to, um, for example, when I want to watch a movie, I go to Wikipedia, right? And I look for the plot because I want to know what's going on. In Spanish, you call it synapsis. Synapsis. Uh -huh. Synopsis. No. That one. <laughs> In English, that would be the plot. That, that, that oh, is called okay. a plot. Uh -huh. The Thank other you. one is sin. Look at the word. It's like sin, just that way. So like a small part, right? Like a trailer, a small picture of something that is going on. And the last one we have here is sci-fi or science fiction. Normally, you will listen to this as sci-fi. That's the short way the abbreviation um so what vocabulary guys uh, were you able to get for talking about for example um historical movies can you give me a couple of ideas can you brainstorm them the patriot movie mm -hmm. okay what normally do you see in those movies what else Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, yes. Uh, we uh, said that we found like a all all dresses or all fashioned oh. in ancient landscapes. Okay. And. Uh, Courage, because okay. I think we we think about the the movies that is based on novels like oh. uh, *Orgullo y Prejuicio*. You know? Oh, okay, Pre <laughs> *Pride and Prejudice*. Okay, so in the eighteen yeah. hundred, so all movies like seventeenth yeah, century, eighteenth century. Okay. That is like in the 14th century, I think. I don't know. I'm not quite sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. So ancient things, uh, old garments, okay, or or old outfits, okay. Yes, okay. Big dresses. What else? Anything else about war? Okay. History. Um, the cities. Okay. So cities. Mm-hmm. Cool, cool, sounds good. What about the other category in horror movies? What do you normally see in horror, guys? Mm, masks um, with the mask killer people. Okay. Yes. The phantoms. Phantoms. Spirits. Phantoms, ghosts. What else? Ghosts, yes. And um, the ring. Okay. The ring. What, what what do you see in the ring, for example? Supernatural activity? Ah, uh, the ring. This is a Japanese movie. Okay, so Excellent. that Japanese is, a, I think it's Japanese, right? 
Yeah. Yes. That but, was the first horror movie I saw. <laughs> but uh, the horror movies is not only for, about phantoms or or this kind of uh, events, yes. no? because, because we have the, the silent of innocence, and, and it's a great sense. movie. Uh, silence of wait. I think I'm confused in the silence of no, the no, lambs. Uh, Are we no. talking about Hannibal Lecter? Uh, Hannibal yeah. Lecter. No, Hannibal but it's uh -huh, but it's not about only Hannibal Lecter. It's about the a girl who have a lot of who has a lot of uh, uh, I don't know rem uh, memories memories uh, memories memories of uh, her childhood, and she I think she a uh, carga high. She, High holds? Lot of pro she holds a lot of problems with mm. this. Well, if it is a psychological movie, that can be considered a thriller. Because no, but it's a horror movie. Is, is it a horror movie? Oh. The, cate the category is horror movies. Oh, I gotta watch like, that one. Like El Resplandor. I don't know what is the name of in English. The it's Sun. Yeah, the wait. Giant. The, sh oh. the shine something, the right? The shining silence of the innocence, you said. Of the innocent. Okay. Ah, mm. uh, okay. Okay. Psychosis, for example. Mm -hmm. I have not Freddy seen Kruger. that movie. Or Carrie Teacher. Nightmares. The Silence of the Lambs. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. so, or, yeah, or Freddy Krueger, right? Nightmare. So we see also nightmares. Mm -hmm. yes, well, nightmare. actually, the silence of the lamb is considered thriller, so <gasps> it's drama, mystery, and thriller. Okay. So, but also it says here that it can be considered horror, according oh. to the uh, I don't know category of uh, I don't know the, the... terror. No, uh, horror movies. No, it's thriller. Uh -huh. Well, like normally have... thriller is a little bit more psychological, you know, there are no monsters, mm. there are not like, there is no um, supernatural activity, and the uh, horror is related a little bit with uh, all those things, you know, paranormal things. So, but probably there are some scenes uh, where you can see something out of the normal, that's why it is considered horror. I have not seen the movie, so yeah. Teacher, uh, I have a question. Yes. What is the difference uh, between phantom and ghost? Uh, to be honest, I don't know. There are three that are super similar. Ghost, poltergeist, and phantom. But there is another one. So, but we can discover that. Okay. So, for example, the polter poltergeists are the ones that can touch things and objects move. A ghost cannot move things. Oh, mm. you have swords, you have psychopaths, you have killers. And we got to find about the phantom. So according to the dictionary, um, it's a ghost. <laughs> it's just another way to say ghost. Uh -huh. okay. so, like a synonym probably. But there must be another. There must be another description let me investigate a little bit more it says yes it is an illusion or a dream so okay. yeah they are similar sometimes okay guys now i just got some questions uh, for you probably some of the movies are going to be in two three four categories right depending what well you have been the ones who have seen the movies so you can give us uh, your feedback on them and I got these three questions. The first one is, what is your favorite uh, genre talking about movies? Do you cry during a movie? Have you ever cried? Like mm. being honest, have you cried watching like, I don't know, a series, a movie, a soap opera or anything on the TV? And the last one, what is the best movie you have ever seen? Not necessarily from your genre, uh, so, but just a movie that you say, I really recommend this one because uh, that was like super, super good. All right. 
So we are going to discuss just these three questions, guys. Give me one moment. I'm going to make some groups, two, four, five, five. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay, and uh, we have 10 minutes for that. So only the three questions, guys. What is your favorite genre? Have you ever cried? Or do you cry watching movies? And what is the best that you can recommend us to watch? So have fun. There you go. Thing. What about the um, second uh, question? Do you cry during movies or have you ever cried watching a movie? I always cry. <laughs> 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 I always cry. Uh, yes, uh, uh, I think last uh, week uh, we watched uh, a movie. I don't remember in this moment what is the name, but I, la I finished uh, crying. Yes, I am not sure why, but this is a problem for me. Uh, you, uh, you like to cry. <laughs> All right, uh, the last uh, question. What is the best movie you have ever seen? In my case, is The Godfather. The Grandfather. The Godfather. The, El Padrino. Oh, God Italian, Father. right? The Godfather. Yes. Uh -huh. It's based in the Mario Puzzo books. And there are uh, four movies. To be honest, I have never seen uh, The Godfather. I recommend, Same uh, here. I, will. I recommend you <laughs> this, yeah. this, this movie and the books. I have heard about it, but uh, I, you know, some. Sometimes you see other things. All right, uh, Azucena, what is your favorite genre of movie? Well, actually, I have more than one genre. Very um, uh, exaggerado. And you know, it's, it's like that all, all the makeup. I don't know, the same movies for me is the same thing. Like uh, when you talk, when you talk about, when you talked about the romance and the zombies like the same, not many people uh, working in uh, with the, with her eyes. Uh, I remember that you, that you watch, um, Korean drama. Hey, yes, did you remember? <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> and and I, I recommend watching. you Bulgasal. Ah, oh, did you watch? Yeah. Yes, it's a very good drama, yes. I recommend it to, to our classmate too. Many dramas is, right. are, um, well, many genres. When I see, when I watch drama, and I think I include all the genres. Science have you, have you ever seen, have you ever seen Bonanza? Anyone? Do you like Bonanza? Bonanza, I, like, I watch I, uh, at the <laughs> channel, eight channel. Yes. Wow, but that is a very old one. 
Yes. Ben Cartwright. <laughs> but it's a, it's a familiar serial, right? Yes, yes. You know, I, like I don't remember I Vanessa like that much, but I remember this Dr. Queen. Do you remember that one? Yeah, I like Dr. Yeah, Queen. Dr. Queen was amazing. It's old, but super, super old. I was like five or six years old, and my father used to watch Dr. Queen and Bonanza. So, but it's super, super old. No, Sophie, teacher, I remember. I, I remember. I saw the Dr. Queen that? in Channel Eight. Oh, in Channel Eight. Yeah, I, I remember the channel. <laughs> I remember that it was. Yes. I remember it was old. Uh -huh. But how? Channel. Teacher, how how old are you, teacher? Uh, I you? I am in my thirties. I am in the early thirties. But I feel that it was a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> so that is the point. Uh -huh. You know. Uh, I remember very well. Do you remember those ones? I remember 32, teacher. <laughs> no, but we are almost the same age. Uh -huh. So we are almost the same age. You know I'm what? I'm in my 40s. Yeah, in your I'm 40s. in my 40s. Oh, okay. So, what, well, what other things do you normally watch? Guys, what about the second one? It says there, do you cry? Do you normally cry when you're watching a movie? Yes. Yes. Yes, I love I it. Cry when I cry when I watch. What was the movie? What was the last movie you cried for? I, I cried uh, <laughs> when I saw the Intensamente. I don't know if you guys watch this movie, this animated movie. Not I don't I remember the name, but it's an indie movie. A, a Hollywood movie? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a lot of fantasy, a lot of fantasy. Okay. But What's I cry like, like if uh if a familiar was dead. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, do you remember the, the name of the movie? Yeah, I I I'm I'm I I'm looking wasn't it, for wasn't the it title, the life the of I? No. No, it's a saga. A sequel. Uh, yeah. I, let me let me found right mm -hmm. now yeah nice yeah guys recommend us some <laughs> so what is sophie there. what about you sophie you have been very quiet yes my, my favorite to, to, cry, is... to cry i have difficult to cry you're hard to cry okay i don't cry i can't cry oh don't cry okay uh, Cry. <laughs> can't cry. You can't cry. What's the movie? Unless, unless I have the, a pain I, and her pain, I cry. Well, but with the movies, no. No, the movie, the problem, the, uh -huh. the commentary of the people. But you know, I, I think it depends on the okay. movie too. Because, for example, I discovered that in my case, now I fall asleep with movies. <laughs> so I never finish a movie. I love series, but Me not too. movies. Me too. Uh -huh. I fall asleep with movies. So what about you guys? I cry when I watch it, the, the Child of the Pajamas. Uh, Stripe Pajamas? Yes. Oh, I, you know, I don't like romance. And I don't like drama because of that. Because you cry. <laughs> With my daughter, I cry when I see Coco, the, the movie. Oh, I almost cry. <laughs> I almost <laughs> cry with that one. I found the, the movie. Name. Mm -hmm. The name is Bahubali. 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 
Wow, I'm not familiar with that one, but is it good? Do you recommend it? Yeah, it's a complete uh, fantasy or sci-fi because have an effect, a lot of funny, but you, you watch a man, a strong man in dance and in a, in a story very um, conmovedora. Okay, moving. So when you're talking about that, we can use moving. Oh. Moving, okay. Move. Uh, oh, yeah. A moving yes, story. Yes, it has a moving. That's a moving story. Oh, okay. Sounds very nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm more into action, but I think I will recommend my sister that one. <laughs> she loves yeah. those, uh, those kind of movies. Okay, guys, because of the time, we have to go back. But it was super cool to talk to you. Give me one moment, please. Give me one second here. Teacher, can you help me with the with the, an exercise in the platform, please? Sorry, I'm mute. Absolutely, okay. I can help you with that. Uh, do you remember the exercise number? Is it is in the last in the final exams in the last exams? In the last one. Is an exercise before the last exercise? Mm, okay, give me one sec. So we are talking about the final, right? Yes, final. Okay. Give me one moment. Teacher, hey. I have yes. a question. Yes, tell me. Terror, terror is the same that horror. Mm, in English, normally we don't use the word terror. Um, uh -huh. It would be better if you use horror. Okay, but because uh, according to the, I don't know, magazine, no sé qué, uh, the, the Silent of the Lambs uh, is Error. between, I don't know if it's between, but uh, is, in, is entre the 40 movies, uh, terror, uh, horror movies. Oh, the uh, silence. And the category is trailer, uh, oh. is, I think it's trailer of the terror, oh. <laughs> of the terror. Uh-huh. Board. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, that, that's very interesting. Let me check it out. Yes, it's like psychological Kali. horror thriller. Mm -hmm. I have never seen the movie, to be honest. So I don't know. You tell us. Is there right. something strange? Is there something that is not um like normal in the movie or human or some nightmares or some dreams that are strange? Uh, I, I no, mm, no, but uh, I think the horror is not only uh, this kind of things. I think it's psychological horror, right? Uh, yes, mm -hmm. because I, I don't know if you remember uh, The Exorcist. Mm -hmm. yes. okay. it's, it's the same yes. <laughs> the exorcist uh, 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 the shining uh, this is the horror movies too i know but the exorcist is horror <laughs> no I but couldn't it, it, sleep for how days. About, <laughs> about the shining how about the shining uh, the shi i have never uh -huh. seen that one well yes it says here that a horror movie um explores some topics like monsters apocalyptic events something related to religion um, and that provokes psychological reactions. So maybe it is considered horror because it is into the psychological effect, right? That it provokes. So not necessarily it is a, a monster in the movie. Um, Teacher, but and what know. about the, the difference between thriller and horror? Supposedly, uh, the horror, that would be that one. Horror. Uh -huh. And the do, 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 do. thriller, I think, is more suspension, mm -hmm. and the horror is uh, it's more very, psychological. So, very, um, uh, I don't know, but to the other, the horror is uh, you are mm -hmm. very all the time, you are very scared about the 
the all the things that are in the picture in the yeah we need to investigate about this topic teacher the, actually <laughs> i have a, a a homework assignment for you wait um, um it says here that thriller is related to the feelings so as mauricio said exactly so is related to excitement suspense anticipation anxiety so um it is more like what you feel something more psychological right that's why there are two or three categories into one movie um but yes we actually have to investigate Sophie? Uh, i i have found history about horror oh we are you're gonna tell us that one actually but give me one second um guys cody has a question here so that's why i'm showing you the platform cody let me know if this is the exercise rewrite sentences yes the last one i can do it i don't know is the correct form of the verse remember capital letters and periods at the end so we are in exercise and we are in the final exam rewrite sentences and you have to use the word that is um, into parentheses. Okay. Yes. So what do you have or what have you tried so far? I try uh, take off your, your shoes here. It, it's allowed. I don't know. Okay. So guys, have you done this exercise already? No, no, there is a section five. I'm ready. Oh, this I is have, the last one. Uh -huh. Yeah, I have problem with the section, uh, someone in the section three, I think so. Uh -huh. mm, okay, so we can give it a try. There are a lot of possibilities on how to use allowed. One of the most common would be it is allowed. So uh, the platform Hello. is not taking it. So yes. to take off your shoes, let's give it. Let's give a try with the second one. Is allowed. I don't want to show you the answer, but <laughs> okay, let me give it a try. Teacher. Yes. The correct answer is you're allowed to take off your shoes. So you are allowed, right? Um, yes. But yes. you're in. Mm -hmm. No, you are allowed yes. to take off. Yes, okay, thank you. So there are a lot of possibilities on how to use allowed, but you can try uh, with abbreviation or without abbreviation. That would be for the exercise. You're allowed to take, You're allowed to take off your shoes. Mm, exercise C. Exercise C in the final part. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank okay. you. Welcome, Mauricio. The previous one. Uh, I think the section three. Um, in the previous one, you mean this one, number two? Yes. Um, you have it here. So you can eat or drink in the classroom, but with um, apostrophe. So ah, with the contraction. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, that was the problem. <laughs> yeah, so if you write it full, it will not take it. Uh, yeah, I exercise... wrote, you cannot. <laughs> it is correct, mm -hmm. but the platform will not take it. Um, yeah. <laughs> Maurice, exercise number three. Do you remember which one? Um, no, I don't remember right now. Um, is it the midterm or is it just the normal no, the exercise? Normal. Um, the normal exercise. Okay, so where? Let me see. Is it listening? Is it? Johnny Depp is on the I think it's listening. This one? Yeah, in this one, uh huh. Which one? Um, the let me see. Who is? Uh, I think it's uh, uh, the the number two. Number two. So, have you heard of Pirates of the Caribbean? Yes, it is an action movie and it stars Johnny Depp. Guys, um, what do you have in this one? What do you have in number two? Do you remember? Yes. And yes, it's, it's an action movie that stars Johnny Depp. That stars Johnny Depp, yes. I'm going to copy this because there is an apostrophe here. So. Yes, I, 
I did this. We put it in the in the group. I don't know if, if so it is an extra movie. That if my is... you are in the group of WhatsApp. Oh, okay. Mauricio, are you in the in the WhatsApp group? No. Oh, ah. so join it. Oh. <laughs> so join the group. That happened because to me guys, at the beginning. Why not? The guys are, are sharing the, the answers can, and they have been like sharing you some. You found some help in the group. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's very helpful. So it is an action ah, movie. Okay. That... okay, I will. I will. Oh, because I think I saw it. Uh -huh, I, would try I don't want to wanna show you the answers. <laughs> Maybe you should check your emails. Yeah, actually, it yes, is in the email. email. So the, you the have the link, link over there. You just click on it and you automatically will be joining. Okay, so Maurice, take a look at the group and then you can uh, share your questions too and they will be helping you out. Uh, sorry, guys, I got to stop but because of the time. I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Just a little homework assignment. Guys, select one of the best movies you have seen and you describe it for us tomorrow. So maybe you have the chance to re-watch it, right? And you tell us about it. So bye-bye, everybody. Okay. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Okay, See you tomorrow. Bye, bye teacher.